what we have today is a new setup. An upgraded iMac with an Ion processor and 40 gigabytes of RAM. I want to see whether it's worth it to add an external graphics card to an already powerful computer. Externally, I'm rocking a Sony e graphics box with an AMD RX 580 inside. Inside is a Vega 48. I was looking for this question everywhere and couldn't find an answer whether or not eGPU is worth if you already have a fast iMac. I run a series of benchmarks, including Final Cut Pro and DaVinci. Let's get going. My first benchmark was stabilization. I deleted all stabilization finals in Final Cut Pro by going into the Final Cut Pro library in Finder. I also deleted all project render files. Without an eGPU, it took 5 minutes and 19 seconds to stabilize a 5 minute 4K clip. I accomplished the same by sitting there with a stopwatch with an eGPU in 4 minutes and 38 seconds, 13% faster. Next, I loaded up DaVinci per viewer's request. Since it's difficult to compare stabilization times of an entire project, I ran export benchmarks. Surprisingly, it took 4 minutes with an eGPU and 3 minutes and 47 seconds without. I have the unpaid version of DaVinci, but it looks like DaVinci still used both graphics cards. If you have any guesses as to why that is, I would love to hear in the comments below. Worth it? I would say it depends on your application. External graphics optimizations in software are always getting better, and if you use Final Cut, my answer is yes and now even with a good iMac. For DaVinci users, I recommend holding off until optimization gets better, or buying a Vega 64 that's much better than the iMac Vega 48 and using that. In about a year, I'll redo this video with DaVinci to see if it got better. For now, as always, thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. I hope to see you all soon and have a great day.